Hey guys, Justin here with Four Lazy Jays, and this week I want to try something a little bit different. Uh, as I've been building my truck up, I've been doing the work and then kind of going back and showing and telling you what I think about it afterwards. So I'm going to try uh, something new this week and bring you along in almost real time. I'll save it in a time lapse. I know you guys' time is precious and I appreciate you watching anyways. We've got a, a four state road trip coming up with my kids, two year old and a four year old. And, uh, my wife and I, and we're going to camp along the way and, and spend about a week going uh, up through Monument Valley into Utah, Colorado, and back through New Mexico, and then back home, primarily on roads. We'll drive around once we get to where we're going. This is still kind of new for us, so technically not really an overlanding trip, but it's going to be fun no matter what. So as I was doing research to try to figure out how to make it more pleasurable for the family, everyone kind of had the same thing and that was to get yourself a refrigerator and so I shopped and shopped I did research kicked it around it's a tough pill to swallow a lot of money to spend up front I already have a couple of Yeti ice chests but I did get concerned with soggy food running out of ice especially if you get kind of in a remote area it's one thing you have to uh, be concerned with and so here it is I've got the Dometic 65 liter my plan is to mount it on the slide in the bed and have it kind of pull out by the tailgate maybe past it, it comes out 24 inches I also got the insulated bag to kind of help out I've read a lot of articles where these went head-to-head -head with the ARB several other refrigerators in that thousand dollar category this one wasn't quite a thousand dollars but it was by the time I got everything else and uh, so that's the value was in this great reviews my plan is to wire up the trucks a diesel so there's two batteries in it which it needs both batteries to start but I have one battery that has nothing hooked to it and I'm gonna wire in a 12 volt source with the USB outlet. I figured if I'm going to do it, it might be nice to have it at the back of the bed. Plan on mounting that somewhere maybe in this area here and putting the refrigerator right here. This way it kind of pulls out. I'm going to run the wiring up underneath the truck, come through on the bedside, the USB and power source right here. I'm going to get to installing this thing, switch you over to time lapse mode right now. Thousands of years, the only way to hear music was in the flesh. From rocks and sticks and gourds to lyres and harpsichords, you couldn't own music, so there was no theft. Music was a moment, and that was the only time. You'd ever hear that song played quite like that Oh, for thousands of years The music go in your ears And the memory of the sound was all that was left But clever humans You just couldn't take it You had to go and make it more complicated With your acetate with your magnetic tape With your lasers and ones and zeros You just couldn't wait To lock it down, lock it down Copy right into... Well, the refrigerator's in. This slide bracket didn't clear my tailgate when I anchored it down. I used some good self-tapper screws. I gotta get a few more. They only have uh, four of them in there right now. I think it has a place for, for six or eight. So I just ran out of them. But it's plugged in, running, wired. I ended up cutting some pieces of aluminum to go around the screw holes, uh, raised it up three quarters of an inch, and now it glides in and out. See what it does when it has food in it? Right at this very end, there's a screw down here hanging up, and I plan on skinning the tailgate with the sheet of aluminum 
for a flat surface to cook on. Lid doesn't open all the way. It hits one of the bars on my Lightner Designs rack, but it opens pretty far. This is a reversible lid. I could have it swing the other direction, but I feel like this is the, the most useful way of getting in and out of this thing. It's getting late now, and, and so it might be hard to see, but if you look down here, it's got a USB port right on the front of it. A switch for normal use and emergency override. Up here we have our, of course, power set adjustments. Inside there is an LED light. This is the freezer compartment over here. It can be all refrigerator. If you look down here, there is the cord to power it in your home. So you can pre-chill it. It's got a nice latch. I thought about trying the ARB tie downs. There are some tie down points down here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I might try just some one inch webbing, nylon webbing with a buckle on it, like a cam lock, like they use on, on ladder racks to stuck, tie stuff down. I'm anxious to see the power usage myself. You can only read so much online before you put it to use. So. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this works out. I'll probably have an update on it down the road after I get some use out of it. So. Well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.